essential step of every research is to define the research problem and everyone has the starting problem like how to define the research problem every researchers will have some difficulties to define it in this video i'll be telling you like how to define a research problem and how i defined my research problem what is a research problem it is a specific issue or a difficulty or a contradiction or a gap in the research in a specific field so what it might be and how it might be it might be a practical problem or it might be a theoretical problem or it might be both so if you see specific domains they have they can be researched they can be implemented only with a practical problem whereas a specific subject area can also be theoretical like a science based subjects computer science biotechnology chemistry physics in that case you have to go with the practical research problems whereas if it is english or history you can choose a theoretical problems but in many case we have to go with the combination of both practical and theoretical so what are the key steps to define the research problem while defining these steps i'll also share my experience like how i did this so the very first one is search in cross domains so what is a cross domain if you are from computer science you should not always look for the computer science based problems you have to search for the cross domains like healthcare you can implement your computer knowledge in a healthcare industry or a banking industry or insurance or agriculture or anything and the important thing is that should really excites you so what is the meaning of excitement if you are not aware about the disease awareness in the sense it's that it doesn't mean that you should be pro in that particular industry at least you should have some interest on that so the cross domain which really interests me is a healthcare domain why because understanding the diseases or just to hear more new new diseases so i just got some excitement to learn what are all the various diseases which we have okay so that interests me more so you can also decide based on your interest few may be interested in agriculture if you are very well in iot if you are doing a research in iot you can just choose agriculture and combine iot like finding some problem in agriculture and implementing your iot device or iot concept in agriculture to solve some issues so this is what search in a cross domain so i have decided i chosen the healthcare industry in that you have to explore more okay that you have to find a unique problem what is mean by unique problem okay in healthcare industry i have decided that i have to do i have to predict some disease okay so what is the disease so if you take cancer a cancer disease is already defined by many okay so many are doing the research in cancer and if you see um diabetes or autism so almost many are doing their research in these areas then what is your unique problem that you have to find out how can you find you have to use the google to search for it for example if you are thinking okay diabetes cancer and all these things are already there then uh, what we can do it if you know covid okay because we know that covid is also a disease so you can just go and search prediction for covid disease if you just go and search if you see that any research is going on then definitely you have to drop that okay you have to just search for any other unique disease you have to read a various article to find the disease so article means like if you are working in a college or studying in a college you have a library definitely in your college or in almost even you have a public library right so there 
they'll be having the monthly magazines even the journals okay in journals they'll be international journals they'll be releasing a public uh, monthly or bi monthly or early magazine as a hard copy you can find that in your library and you can see what are all the any any article which is published based on your interest and even the monthly magazines here in monthly magazines i have related that which is specifically on uh, technology like digits pc world okay so even there you can see what is the latest technology what are the trending technologies and how can you apply that technology into your research so what i found what is my unique problem which what what problem i have defined is i have chosen an autoimmune disease which is a systemic lupus erythematosus disease i have started my search on 2014 february and i found this disease on june 2014 see nearly how long it took because it will definitely take you have to search you have to read and you have to relate all these thing to that particular cross domain okay so for that it will definitely take at least 2 to 3 months at least 2 to 3 months okay so that is what the second important thing find a unique problem explore more once you have found the unique problem once i found that okay we can go ahead with our systemic lupus erythematosus what i should explore more is what are the key terms used in that because i am not a i am not a doctor like now i am a doctor i am just telling during that time i am not a doctor who is working in any medical center so i definitely don't know what are the terminologies and technologies used there if someone has to predict if someone has to tell that okay this patient is having systemic lupus erythematosus disease what are the tests they have to take what are the scan if any scans has to be taken and how to predict this all these things i don't know so i have to search more on that okay so few medical terms like ane that is ane means anti nuclear antibody that i know only after i have searched more okay like every key terms most probably it will be like a uh, abbreviations okay so b test if there will be multiple tests even for that test you should understand what is that is related to to your disease the disease which you are going to predict it okay so that is what you have to explore more and you have to understand all the key terms you have to identify the key factors as well for in my in my case what happened is i didn't get any data set even now if you go and search in internet no just go and search systemic lupus erythematosus data sets you will not get it okay because that is very uh, that is a disease which is also available that is which is also there in india which is uh, which is very well there in us but no one give you gives you any data because that is related to uh, very sensitive data okay you cannot get the data set like a cancer data set or an autism data set okay so you have to identify the key factors like where you will find more challenges like a data set or uh, uh whether you can implement it re really uh whether you can just meet the doctors or someone else to get the case studies okay so you have to identify the key factors that where you will be getting some challenges where how you can face that and everything and you have to review and read more articles see before finding the thing reviewing is different here in this case you are going to find your problem for that you have to read a various article okay here after finding that you have to review and uh, read more article which are based on that disease and uh, uh, that is some combination of your domain with the cross domain okay the disease or anything which you have chosen so i have you i have uh, read more articles more than 200 articles okay because i should have some confidence right and almost in that 200 articles nearly 175 to 180 articles are not with a combination of data mining and a lupus disease it is only a medical journals okay it only talks about the systemic lupus erythematosus disease Mm, that is what the biggest things are like where i also faced more challenges okay so here what you will uh, 
what you will gain is see this concept uh, the unique problem which you took is not already taken by anybody so what happen what will happen is almost in any conferences or any journal which you are uh, trying to publish your paper will be accepted because that is a unique one okay and uh, even in your uh, uh, like if you are going for the thesis and review meeting they also will not ask more questions okay because they because there is a unique problem right no one will be, will be always showing that to them okay they will ask questions but not more related to your uh, cross domain area okay so that is why i am telling choose some unique problem this also will give you more more uh, reach and also you will have you will learn more about that particular domain so hope you uh, like this video and i'll just show you how my uh, i'm telling that my problem is very unique so go to the google search or any search and simply type data mining the lupus disease okay you can see that these are my papers okay these are the papers which we i have published okay so that is data mining the lupus disease a predictive model for a systemic lupus erythematosus and uh, here you can see that in google scholar once i have uh, typed like data mining to predict sle you can see that this is my paper okay this is my article which i have published okay so this is where your uniqueness comes in fine so that is what i told like you have to select the unique topic unique problem you have to search for that definitely it will take at least one month okay if you search very rigor rigorously for few because uh, i used to search whenever i get time i was working during that time so that is why i couldn't search completely so once i reach home and once uh, while traveling so i'll be searching for something okay that i'll be searching for my research problems so if you are searching if you are a full time scholar if you are searching for a complete like one full day daily in a daily basis so definitely you can do that you can find your problem at least within 15 to 1 month 15 days to 1 month okay so all the best for all the researchers who are yet to decide your research problem think twice before you uh fix the research problem okay because there will be more challenges once you get in don't think about like why did i choose this okay so you should be very very clear and once you get in whatever the problem which comes in you have to face it definitely because research is completely all about uh, how we are facing all the challenges and coming out and uh, submitting our thesis okay so all the best for you all have a great day bye bye